Hi friends, in my last video I have shown how to copy a VHD from a classic storage account to a resource manager storage account. In this video I am going to show you how to create a VM using that existing VHD. So this is my classic portal in which I have VM for which I have already copied a, this to a RM storage account. I have stopped the VM you can see the status here and if we switch to resource manager portal here also we can see that the classic VM is stopped and this is the only VM right now I have so let's start to create a VM using an existing VM disk we will create a VM using a existing VM disk using a PowerShell so you need to install the PowerShell and you need to connect to your login by using this command I have already done this for my for my for my session so let's start so this is the script we, which we will run to create a VM using the existing disk so you required all this information let's run the script let's run the powershell script this script will take time to finish and moreover we cannot uh, see the status on portal we cannot see the status on the portal we can only refresh the portal and uh, say if script started uh, creating the resources on the portal or not okay now it's it is finished so let's check if we have the VM or not so on the portal we can see that we have the machine here you can see we have the network interface for that machine we have VNet so everything looks fine let's check the status of the VM and it is started as you can see that we are getting the option to stop or restart the uh, VM meanwhile I have taken the RDP session of the machine and we can sh see that we have the IS role there I also created one shear test shear let's see if we have that shear okay open computer management and see if we have the share or not yeah I can see the share also one more thing we can see mm. CMD we can run system info and we can check the installation date I installed the server yesterday migrated today yeah we can see the in original installation date is 26 12 so we have the machine created using the ex existing VHD and our original machine is still stopped in classic mode thank you for watching watching this video I hope this will uh, give you some idea how to create a VM using an existing disk. Thanks.